the issue with the hiring a guy and promoting within like John Hoke is you look at the position coach that had the most success in theory that season, right? So you look at the cornerback position and yeah, Jalen Johnson had a breakout year. Is that Jalen Johnson being motivated properly by a contract? Or is that because John Hoke all of a sudden just tapped into it perfectly, right? Is Tyreek Stevenson having a really good rookie year on the back end because he just kind of figured it out and he needed to gel with this defense? Or is it John Hoke? So you kind of just target the position group that kind of did well and the guy who has experience. And personally, as a Bears fan, I've seen that done to death. The Mike Tice, the Bob Babich, the, you know, all these guys that just, oh, well, they're there and their group does well. So we should probably promote them. And I think you have a lot of underlying issues with a, with a, a theory like that. That's a good point because the initial offensive staff that Matt Evers was put together, I don't think he had experience with hardly any of those coaches. Luke Getze, he'd never worked with before, but had heard good things and interviewed him. He did well. Janoko, he had never been on the same team with. Wide receivers coach Tyke Tolbert was totally an outside name. I think tight ends coach Jim Dre was as well. And I, I think offensive line coach Chris Morgan, like all of the key offensive coaches, assistants and coordinator, like had not worked together in any capacity and had not worked with Matt Eberflus in any capacity. I don't see how this works. Keeping Flus and reshuffling two incredibly vital positions in his staff and giving him the choice to do it. 